Hello friends, in this video we will be talking about the coordinated control of glycolysis and citric acid cycle. We can see a huge picture in front of your eyes. Now uh, many steps are there in, in this picture what we are looking at. The green colored spots denoting the positive regulatory sites and the red colored spots are suggesting as the negative regulatory site of this glycolysis and Krebs cycle. The phosphorylation of glucose by ATP to form glucose 6-phosphate is catalyzed by hexokinase. This reaction is activated by phosphate and is inhibited by the product glucose 6-phosphate. Phosphoglucose isomerase converts glucose 6-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate. The most highly regulated enzyme in glycolysis is phosphofructokinase which is catalyzed or which, which catalyzes the phosphorylation of fructose 6-phosphate by ATP to form the fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. This enzyme is activated by the substrate fructose 6-phosphate, inorganic phosphate, AMP and ammonium ion which are denoting in this picture and by the product fructose 1,6-bisphosphate it is inhibited. Now allosterically it is inhibited by ATP a co-substrate and bicitrate. This is only example of the citric acid cycle intermediate regulating the gly glycolytic intermediate or glycolytic enzyme. Now we can see, just remember this very very carefully. Citrate is the only citric acid cycle intermediate which take interference in this glycolysis pathway. In the last step of glycolysis, phosphenol pyruvate is converted to pyruvate by pyruvate kinase. This reaction is inhibited by product ATP and is activated by substrate ADP. The conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA by pyruvate dehydrogenase is another highly regulated reaction. The reaction is activated by pyruvate, it is also uh, activated by ADP, activated by the calcium ion concentration. It is inhibited by increases in the ratio of NADH over NAD plus and by the product acetyl-CoA. The reaction of acetyl-CoA with oxaloacetate to form citrate is catalyzed by the citrate synthase. This reaction is inhibited by both products, citrate and increased ratio of NADH over NAD+. Isocitrate dehydrogenase catalyzes the conversion of isocitrate to alpha-ketoglutarate. This reaction is activated by calcium ions and ADP and is inhibited by increased ratios of NADH by NAD+. Alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase catalyzes the conversion of alpha-ketoglutarate to succinyl-CoA. This reaction is inhibited by both ATP and by increasing ratio of NADH over NAD+. It is activated by calcium ion concentration and also it is activated by the ratio of or the increased ratio of coenzyme A over succinyl-CoA.